Dearly beloved, do you take this Visa Signature card that pays 2% cash back? I do. Do you want a checking account that pays 5% interest? I, I, I do. Live happily ever after with a Boost checking account on a Visa Signature card from Dort Financial Credit Union. Boost is a simple and convenient checking account that pays 5% APY on balances up to $10,000. The Dort Financial Visa Signature Credit Card pays 2% cash back, a match made in heaven. Dort Financial Credit Union and you, insured by NCUA. Calling it a day, Carrie? Oh no, there's more. Like what? More reps, more steps. More this, more that. More time to breathe. More hustle, more grind. There's more to Carrie Underwood. And I should wrap by midnight. Impressive. And there's more to Body Armor Light with natural sweeteners, no sugar added, and only 20 calories. This organization cares. They're on the front lines with us. They hear our stories. They really know what we need. I honestly wouldn't be here now if I didn't have this organization. Our clients enjoy working with us because we're a family. They love being served by an organization that understands family and relationships. Our clients enjoy working with us because I truly believe that they understand we have their best interest at heart. We want to see them succeed, and I think that it's a good partnership because of that. We're really revolved around our faith. Um, we're revolved around this fierce loyalty to each other, uh, around being authentic, about having open conversations, and about just doing good and serving others. We feel like there's a greater mission and a greater calling in that because if we're serving our clients and we're doing that well and we have their best interests in mind, that translates to then their family and their family is going to feel that. And then if they can also show that to their community. Look, I was born here in Flint. I went to public school here, graduated from U of M Flint here. I mean, I'm a Flint kid, and my city has taken a beating, there's no doubt. But I have witnessed its transformation firsthand. It's obvious for anyone who allows themselves to see it. I feel blessed that my family and our business has been able to mirror that momentum. I'm David Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. Halo Burger is about tradition that began 97 years ago. Halo Burger has grown to become an iconic and nostalgic brand that never forgets its commitment to the community. In nearly every corner of the community, you'll find Halo Burger stepping up to make a positive impact on the communities it serves, a philosophy that's been in place since the Thomas family days and one that makes this brand so special to so many people. They're not just a business, they're family, and family looks out for family. I didn't realize how limited my range of motion was, so when I raised my arm, it would go click, click, click all the way up, and now I can uniformly go up and down with no, no pain. I'm fine now. I'll do everything now. The improvements in simple things, like laying down a bed and going to sleep in peace, is, is invaluable. Advanced physical therapy got me back into everything that I used to do faster than the doctors expect me to. Don't let pain stop you. Advanced PT can help at eight convenient locations. At Big John Steak and Onion, vegetables are no more than a condiment. We don't hide a few pieces of meat below a mound of veggies. Every Big John Steak and Onion is stacked with 100% ribeye steak, seasoned to perfection, and piled into a fresh Italian sub roll. If you want a lot of fresh vegetables, grab one of our salads, though we'll be happy to put some steak on that too. Don't forget to complete your meal with our original Big John kettle chips. It all awaits you at your local Big John Steak and Onion. 
Having grown up on the orchard my entire life, I always knew I wanted to come back into the family business. The goal was to create the best product possible, but more importantly, it was to pay respect to the tradition of our family's apple growing heritage and the profession that I've come to love. Our production team, our cider makers here, we really draw all of our inspiration from what we do here. And it's pretty simple. Apples are grown here, they're pressed here, and they're served here. I think that no matter how far Blake's Hard Cider goes, it's always going to be rooted in our backyard. At VFCU, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020. EMS training is very affordable. For the cost of one semester at a four-year university, you'd be able to complete both your EMT and your paramedic training. In addition, if you come to work at Mobile Medical Response as an EMT, we'll pay for your paramedic training and provide the scheduling support for you to be successful in the program. And you can do all of this without amassing a great deal of student debt. There's a bright future in EMS. Once you obtain your EMT license and go on to obtain your paramedic license, your options increase dramatically. You can become a field training officer, you can become a field supervisor, you can work in operations. There are opportunities in administration and leadership within organizations. Since 1936, Dover has been specializing in doors for your home. Do you do garage doors? Dover does it. The area's largest selection to meet everybody's style, and budget. But do you do entry doors? Absolutely. From steel, fiberglass, wood core, we have the look you love. Dover does it. How about storm doors? Of course, we have them all. Steel, aluminum, glass, and the very popular retractable screen. Dover does it. Were you going to ask about interior doors? Why not? You know it. Whether it's a hanging door, bifold door, sliding door, special shapes and sizes, Dover does it. For all your door needs, installation or service, trust the experts. We've been delivering quality for over 80 years. Dover does it. Why would you choose to go anywhere else? At Regional Medical Imaging, we are dedicated to providing the best in diagnostic imaging in a comfortable spa-like setting. Our experienced technologists and radiologists, combined with the latest technology, deliver quality care with fast results. At Regional Medical Imaging, we understand how important quality of patient care is to your health and are committed to remaining leaders in the ever-changing world of imaging and technology. With 10 locations and over 200 staff members to serve you, for all of your imaging needs, choose Regional Medical Imaging. If you have a hernia, turn to the experts at Hurley's Hernia Center of Excellence for treatment and repair. Procedures at Hurley offer faster recovery time and minimal pain. So don't delay your care. Hernia repairs are safe at Hurley. It's all about freshness at Halo Burger, and it's also about the beef, which is fresh, never frozen, and still made with the original recipe that made Halo Burger an iconic Flint restaurant. One of our mottos is good food for good people. Food is fresh, it's Midwestern flair. We've always done our best to bring in local product from local Michigan made places. Fresh beef, quality ingredients, familiar taste, friendly service, and a heavenly experience awaits. I'm a recent addition to the staff here at Gaines Jewelry but I've spent most of my life in the jewelry business here in Flint. I've sold jewelry, managed stores, and even owned my own store. And the Gaines name has always stood for integrity, expertise, selection, and value. I'm proud to be a part of the Gaines tradition because now I get to experience it all firsthand right here in the community I love. 
I'm Fred Westerveld of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store. And Flint is my town. My name is Mike Rogers. I'm the owner of Commercial Graphics of Michigan Incorporated. We are a design, graphic design and printing company, uh, full service print, bindery, graphic design, anything you can think of. We started Commercial Graphics in 1984. We'll be celebrating our 34th anniversary this year in April. Our mission is to provide the highest quality graphic design and printing products to our clients at a, a tremendous value and with impeccable service. I got into this business basically because I had to. Um, the company I was working for closed. I was managing an implant print shop. and We had an opportunity to uh, purchase our own retail printing company, which we did back in 1984. So, out of necessity, I guess, but it's it's really uh, been a, a dream come true for us. Print is not dead by by any means. Um, our industry's changed dramatically during the last 10 to 15 years, uh, going from a majority of offset work to digital work. And fortunately for commercial graphics, we kept up with the technology, and we have state-of-the-art digital printing equipment. We still have the offset, which makes for a nicely rounded shop. We have lots of options on how to print your jobs, which we always look for the best value for our, our customers. Oh, I'd just like to say thank you to my B&I partners. Uh, without you guys, uh, Commercial Graphics would, would not have experienced the growth and the success we have. We've been in B&I for over 15 years, and uh, really, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate it very much. Well, we're located, physically located, at 1453 Wally Strasse in Burton. It's our brand new facility. We moved here uh, two years ago. Uh, you can find us on the web at www.commercialgraphicsofmi.com and you can always find us on Facebook. I'd just like to say, uh, give us a try, check us out. You won't be disappointed. Commercial Graphics, business printing by the printing pros. Dearly beloved, do you take this Visa Signature card that pays 2% cash back? I do. Do you want a checking account that pays 5% interest? I, I, I do. Live happily ever after with a Boost checking account on a Visa Signature card from Dort Financial Credit Union. Boost is a simple and convenient checking account that pays 5% APY on balances up to $10,000. The Dort Financial Visa Signature Credit Card pays 2% cash back, a match made in heaven. Dort Financial Credit Union and you, insured by NCUA. At Advanced Physical Therapy Center, our goal is to get you back to doing the things you love. I felt really bad pain in my back. I came to Advanced Physical Therapy Center, and after therapy, I started to feel better again so that I can tumble and do gymnastics again. I got up one day and I couldn't hardly walk. I came in here and the guys worked with me, and they got me back on my feet. Don't let pain or injury stop you from living your life to the fullest. The experts at Advanced Physical Therapy Center can help at eight convenient locations. At Regional Medical Imaging, we have a singular focus, patient care and imaging. Our patients are top priority. With RMI's new virtual check-in or VCI process, you can expect singular contact imaging, meaning you will only come in contact with the technologist performing your exam. At RMI, every technologist has the proper protective equipment, and we have enough supplies to offer every patient a mask. Your safety is our number one priority. Regional Medical Imaging, our family taking care of your family. Lots is Mid and Northern Michigan's premier EMS organization. But what sets us apart? Our 25 years of experience, our state-of-the-art technology, our response-ready ambulances, or is it our people? 600 highly trained EMS professionals and support staff committed to providing the best possible experience for our patients and their loved ones. I'm glad I was there to help your mother. Husband. Son. 
Father. Daughter. I'm glad I'm here to answer your call. Mothers to be have one important choice to make, and that's choosing Hurley Medical Center for everything from prenatal care and midwifery to that exciting delivery day. Don't delay your prenatal care. Mothers to be are safe at Hurley. Since 1936, Dover has been specializing in doors for your home. Do you do garage doors? Dover does it. The area's largest selection to meet everybody's style and budget. But do you do entry doors? Absolutely. From steel, fiberglass, wood core, we have the look you'll love. Dover does it. How about storm doors? Of course, we have them all. Steel, aluminum, glass, and the very popular retractable screen. Dover does it. Were you going to ask about interior doors? Why not? You know it. Whether it's a hanging door, bifold door, sliding door, special shapes and sizes, Dover does it. For all your door needs, installation or service, trust the experts. We've been delivering quality for over 80 years. Dover does it. Our clients enjoy working with us because we're a family. They love being served by an organization that understands family and relationships. Our clients enjoy working with us because I truly believe that they understand we have their best interest at heart. We want to see them succeed and I think that it's a good partnership because of that. We're really revolved around our faith. Um, we're revolved around this fierce loyalty to each other, uh, around being authentic, about having open conversations, and about just doing good and serving others. We feel like there's a greater mission and a greater calling in that because if we're serving our clients and we're doing that well and we have their best interests in mind, that translates to then their family and their family is going to feel that. And then if they can also show that to their community. Having grown up on the orchard my entire life, I always knew I wanted to come back into the family business. The goal was to create the best product possible, but more importantly, it was to pay respect to the tradition of our family's apple growing heritage and the profession that I've come to love. Our production team, our cider makers here, we really draw all of our inspiration from what we do here. And it's pretty simple. Apples are grown here, they're pressed here, and they're served here. I think that no matter how far Blake's Hard Cider goes, it's always gonna be rooted in our backyard. Growing up, watching my grandfather work on watches and my dad sorting diamonds, I didn't really expect to be working in the family jewelry store. I went to the Chicago area for college and graduated there, and that was a really special time in my life. But I witnessed Flint's recovery taking place before my eyes, and I decided that I wanted to be a part of it. What better way to make a living than helping customers find something that they can treasure for a lifetime? I'm Selena Gaines at Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. Since 2016, Halo Burger has donated more than $125,000 to the community among various charities. My vision with the Halo Family Fund was just being able to help people when they needed it. You know, we've done so much to give back to the community, and I wanted to find a way to make our people feel like they're our community as well. They care about us before the business, and that really speaks for itself. We're a family company who takes care of our employees and our community. At PFCU, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020. Calling it a day, Carrie? Oh no, there's more. Like what? More reps, more steps. More this, more that. More time to breathe. More hustle, more grind. There's more to carry underwear. And I should wrap by midnight. Impressive. And there's more to body armor light with natural sweeteners, no sugar added, and only 20 calories. Since 2016, 
Haleburger has donated more than $125,000 to the community among various charities. My vision with the Halo Family Fund was just being able to help people when they needed it. You know, we've done so much to give back to the community, and I wanted to find a way to make our people feel like they're our community as well. They care about us before the business, and that really speaks for itself. We're a family company who takes care of our employees and our community. If your grandparent needs immediate medical care, get to Hurley Medical Center. Hurley's emergency room was recently certified a bronze standard level three geriatric emergency department. So don't delay your grandparents care. Your grandma is safe at Hurley. At Big John Steak and Onion, vegetables are no more than a condiment. We don't hide a few pieces of meat below a mound of veggies. Every Big John Steak and Onion is stacked with 100% ribeye steak, seasoned to perfection, and piled into a fresh Italian sub roll. If you want a lot of fresh vegetables, grab one of our salads, though we'll be happy to put some steak on that too. Don't forget to complete your meal with our original Big John kettle chips. It all awaits you at your local Big John Steak and Onion. Why would you choose to go anywhere else? At Regional Medical Imaging, we are dedicated to providing the best in diagnostic imaging in a comfortable spa-like setting. Our experienced technologists and radiologists, combined with the latest technology, deliver quality care with fast results. At Regional Medical Imaging, we understand how important quality of patient care is to your health and are committed to remaining leaders in the ever-changing world of imaging and technology. With 10 locations and over 200 staff members to serve you, for all of your imaging needs, choose Regional Medical Imaging. I didn't realize how limited my range of motion was, so when I raised my arm, it would go click, click, click all the way up, and now I can uniformly go up and down with no, no pain. I'm fine now. I'll do everything now. The improvements in simple things, like laying down a bed and going to sleep in peace, is, is invaluable. Advanced physical therapy got me back into everything that I used to do faster than the doctors expect me to. Don't let pain stop you. Advanced PT can help at eight convenient locations. EMS training is very affordable. For the cost of one semester at a four-year university, you'd be able to complete both your EMT and your paramedic training. In addition, if you come to work at Mobile Medical Response as an EMT, we'll pay for your paramedic training and provide the scheduling support for you to be successful in the program. And you can do all of this without amassing a great deal of student debt. There's a bright future in EMS. Once you obtain your EMT license and go on to obtain your paramedic license, your options increase dramatically. You can become a field training officer, you can become a field supervisor, you can work in operations. There are opportunities in administration and leadership within organizations. My grandfather was Bob Gaines. He grew up in the Depression and used the GI Bill and hard work to start our family business, provide the best living he could for his family. He probably didn't envision his grandchildren selling and making jewelry in the store almost 60 years later. I love being part of the ongoing legacy that my grandfather started. Making and selling jewelry isn't just a job for us. It's not just what we do, it's who we are. I'm Wesley Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. This organization cares. They're on the front lines with us. They hear our stories. They really know what we need. I honestly wouldn't be here now if I didn't have this organization.
Dearly beloved, do you take this Visa signature card that pays 2% cash back? I do. Do you want a checking account that pays 5% interest? I, I, I do. Live happily ever after with a Boost checking account on a Visa signature card from Dort Financial Credit Union. Boost is a simple and convenient checking account that pays 5% APY on balances up to $10,000. The Dort Financial Visa signature credit card pays 2% cash back, a match made in heaven. Dort Financial Credit Union and you, insured by NCUA. Mothers to be have one important choice to make, and that's choosing Hurley Medical Center for everything from prenatal care and midwifery to that exciting delivery day. Don't delay your prenatal care. Mothers to be are safe at Hurley. Calling it a day, Carrie? Oh no, there's more. Like what? More reps, more steps. More this, more that. More time to breathe. More hustle, more grind. There's more to carry underwear. And I should wrap by midnight. Impressive. And there's more to Body Armor Light with natural sweeteners, no sugar added, and only 20 calories. Halo Burger is about tradition that began 97 years ago. Halo Burger has grown to become an iconic and nostalgic brand that never forgets its commitment to the community. In nearly every corner of the community, you'll find Halo Burger stepping up to make a positive impact on the communities it serves. A philosophy that's been in place since the Thomas family days and one that makes this brand so special to so many people. They're not just a business, they're family. And family looks out for family. Since 1936, Dover has been specializing in doors for your home. Do you do garage doors? Dover does it. The area's largest selection to meet everybody's style and budget. But do you do entry doors? Absolutely. From steel, fiberglass, wood core, we have the look you love. Dover does it. How about storm doors? Of course, we have them all. Steel, aluminum, glass, and the very popular retractable screen. Dover does it. Were you going to ask about interior doors? Why not? You know it. Whether it's a hanging door, bifold door, sliding door, special shapes and sizes, Dover does it. For all your door needs, installation or service, trust the experts. We've been delivering quality for over 80 years. Dover does it. Having grown up on the orchard my entire life. I always knew I wanted to come back into the family business. The goal was to create the best product possible, but more importantly, it was to pay respect to the tradition of our family's apple growing heritage and the profession that I've come to love. Our production team, our cider makers here, we really draw all of our inspiration from what we do here. And it's pretty simple. Apples are grown here, they're pressed here, and they're served here. I think that no matter how far Blake's Hard Cider goes, it's always gonna be rooted in our backyard. At Big John Steak and Onion, vegetables are no more than a condiment. We don't hide a few pieces of meat below a mound of veggies. Every Big John Steak and Onion is stacked with 100% ribeye steak, seasoned to perfection, and piled into a fresh Italian sub roll. If you want a lot of fresh vegetables, grab one of our salads, though we'll be happy to put some steak on that too. Don't forget to complete your meal with our original Big John kettle chips. It all awaits you at your local Big John Steak and Onion. At PFCU, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020.
Caitlin, please welcome to the field Detroit Union FC and your Fruit City Frogs. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Atwood Stadium and Kettering University for tonight's match featuring Detroit Union FC and your Flint City Bucks. And at this time, let's meet tonight's starting lineups first for Detroit Union FC. Number one, Colin Capola. Number two, Michael Watugu. Number five, James Lee. Number seven, Kevin Ketchum. Number 10, Justin Workman. Number 11, Twista Wells. Number 14, Matt Latin. Number 15, Yosef Zatuna. Number 18, Damian Wairaki. Number 22, Dylan Durley. And number 28, Elton Jira. And now, the starting line up for your Flint Super Number two, Elliot Bentley. Number five, Dewal Kurani. Number eight, Ali Kubanali. Number 10, Ayuk Tape. Number 11, Yuri Farkas. Number 15, Buster Apaya. Number 16, Masoba Jata. Number 19, Amadou Cisse. Number 25, Jose Aguilar. And number 27, David Acheiranio. Starting a goal for the box, number one, Jacob Buner. The box are led by head coach, Andy Wagstaff. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise and gentlemen, kindly remove your hats as we honor America and those defending our country with the singing of our national anthem. Performed this evening by Glenn Denyman Hinkville. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampart we watched were so gallant. Friends and welcome into historic Atwood Stadium for Flint City Bucks soccer tonight. We're here on Mid Michigan CW46 and streaming live on YouTube. 
The curtain closing match of the Bucks 2021 calendar. Tonight's opponent on a fan appreciation night is Detroit Union FC, a UPSL side lead led by its founder and midfielder, Kevin Tepchum. Detroit Union FC will face a Bucks side that has, will feature a mix of 2019 national champion legends, as well as some exciting young prospects who will have had already an impact in this fall exhibition series. We could really be in for some fireworks tonight as Flint City has outscored its opponents 22 to five in these last four fall exhibition matches. Conditions should be great, 60 degrees here at the approaching kickoff and no more rain in the forecast for tonight. I'm Robert Keir here with you and alongside me for this fifth and final exhibition match of 2021 is Flint City Bucks Director of Coaching and Player Personnel, Gary Parsons. How you doing tonight, sir? Uh, doing great. Just uh, got back from doing a college game, Open University against the University of Illinois, Chicago, so it's a doubleheader for me today. Oh, busy day. It's a big soccer Saturday. So much going on in uh, soccer here at this point. Um, what are you looking for? We got, like I said, we have a mix of veteran uh, national championship players as well as some uh, hot and exciting young prospects. Well, I'll tell you what, looking at this lineup for the Bucks tonight, I'm looking for goals. You've got uh, Ayuk Tambe up top along with Jose Aguilar, uh, Yuri Farkas just underneath them, and David Asherandio out wide up with Amadou Sisi. That's a formidable, formidable uh, attack right there. I mean, already uh, in this exhibition series, uh, Amadou Cisse uh, scored a hat trick in his last time out and was just absolutely on fire for the Bucks in 2021. Yeah, you, you know, uh, all these guys that are attacking for uh, the Bucks tonight have got pedigree behind them. So uh, I'm looking for goals, and I think we're going to see them. Uh, for tonight's opponent, Detroit Union FC, they've got in net Colin Coppola. In, uh, along the defense, Michael Watungu. Number three, Kevin Zapetta. Oh, excuse me, number five, James Lee. Number seven uh, is Kevin Tapcham, also the founder of the uh, Detroit Union FC. Uh, number 10, uh, Justin Workman. Number 11, Costa Wells. 14... Matt Latin. 15 is Josef Zatuna. Number 18, Damian Wairaki. And number 12, Sheriff. Oh, excuse me. And number 28, Elton Jura. And 22, Dylan Dorley. And we are off here at Historic Atwood Stadium on the campus of Kettering University. Detroit Union uh, pressing the action early. Forcing a back pass here to our uh, number one, Jake Nooner. Short pass off to the wing. Long ball up to the front. Takes a bounce off the turf. Battling here on the wing. Number 10, Tambe puts in a cross, but uh, is dealt with there in the uh, Detroit box. Looking to spring a quick counterattack, but a bit of a loose pass. Yeah, kind of interesting tonight so far, just off the kickoff here, that uh, Detroit Union's pressing the Bucks, playing a little bit of high pressure up in the front half of the field, so most teams come out and uh, drop off, play in front of their 18. So we'll see how that turns out for them. Uh, with the exhibition, and it looks like they have a long bench, so maybe uh, they might be pressing and using uh, their greater numbers to their advantage if they can sub in and out, use uh, that press maybe to their advantage. Yeah, certainly can take players out of a game and put them back in tonight as this is an exhibition. So re-entry is allowed. That was a dangerous cross-field ball, but dealt with for the moment. Here come the Bucks down the right wing line. Here's Tambay looking for a uh, player in the middle, but he swings it back around. He squares it into the middle. The young man, number eight, Ali uh, Kurbanali, young 17-year-old um, Afghan refugee, in fact, who's had a, made a uh, major impact from the academy in this fall series so far. 
Bucks uh, playing defense now as Detroit makes her way into the box. Number 12 is looking for a cross. And uh, Elton Jura, the Albanian native, uh, yeah, put he, in a wayward cross there. He needed to take a first touch with that one and then serve it in instead of trying to hit that ball first time into the box. Uh, put it up and over everything. So he had enough time to receive the ball and then put a good service in. Apia sprays it wide to the far side. Looking for a 1-2. Into the middle to Bilal. Kulani looking for teammate. Finds a turn. Pass to the forward. They could be in on goal. Oh, the Detroit Union goalie did well to uh, be hip to the danger there. Yeah, good job of coming outside of his 18 and dealing with that ball with his feet. That could have been a big problem. Yeah, like you said, a formidable strike force bearing down on the goal. Colin Capilla, the goalie for Detroit, doing well to deal with that uh, early uh, call to action. Here's number 11, Costa Wells spraying it wide to the near side. Here's Kevin Cap Tapchum, founder of Detroit Union FC, but his cross easily taken care of by number one, Jake Nooner. Looks to be a good pace to the game so far. I mean, oh, we're just four minutes in, but it looks like the players have plenty of energy. Looks yeah. like that stayed in on the far side there. And the good thing is you're watching Detroit Union play and you can see them matching up at starting at the half line into the Bucks half. So they're gonna press, try to make the Bucks turn it over. Uh, the only problem with that being that there's space in behind. So they've gotta be aware of the Bucks getting the ball in behind them. I'd be uh, watching for number 19 in the box. Goal scoring machine, Cisse looking for uh, some service here. Uh, Detroit deals well to not let the service come into the box there. Cisse absolutely turned around the uh, 2021 uh, Bucks USL season when he came in in June and was just on fire. Yeah, he was a goal scoring machine that second half of the season. They put him up top of the center forward spot and he just lit it up. Yeah, I've got in my notes in seven G on just seven games, six goals, three assists for Cisse. <laughs> Impressive injection into the lineup there. Tapchum looking to get on the end of that. Did he keep it in? He did. Service into the box. But that goes out harmlessly for, I believe, the second goal kick of the game. Tonight's Bucks goalkeeper, like I said, Jake Nooner. A U of M all academic, all, uh, all Big Ten academic scholar. Bucks looking for a long ball here to the far side. Oh, he, the defender let it bounce. Winger gets, is challenging, but is able to turn out a pressure Detroit for the moment. Looks like they're playing with danger there. Uh, here comes uh, Dylan Dorley. He sprays to the near side. Miongu looks for a pass. A lot of turn, turning space here in the early goings now. There goes Kevin Tapchum. Emoting to his team there. Here comes Dorley. Yeah, Looking Do to supply Dorley in the box. looks very good on the ball so far in the first uh, six, seven minutes here. He's done a good job of getting out of trouble and good first touch, good vision. Yes, yeah, Dorley, he made a nice turn in front of his own box to get out of uh, a group of Bucks players that were looking for that uh, quick turnover. Came through the middle and did well to get the ball down the other end, but here come the Bucks again on the far side. Yeah, this fall series, the Bucks uh, have won all four games of this fall exhibition series. And I believe the, uh, the goal difference has been 22 to five, but here comes another one. Oh, young Ali Kurbanali 
Looked like he might get uh, the first tally of the night. Here comes Dorley again in the middle of all the action early. Tapchim sprays it out wide. Wells puts it in. Yeah, another interesting thing about tonight's game so far anyway, that it looks like the Bucks are playing out of a three-back system. Uh, and Detroit Union playing with three forwards. So it can be a bit of a problem for the Bucks defensively if you keep your wide players out wide and then you either have to have your wide midfield players come back in or you have to go 3v3 across the back with space in between. So that'll be interesting to watch as well tonight. What would be a counter that if they if they started getting uh, an advantage on that? What would you say well, is the counter? You know, if, it, if it gets bad, then you're going to have to switch to a four-back system. Um, and you don't want your wide guys to have to be back in the back line all the time. Maybe drop a center, central midfielder back into the back line. Uh, the Bucks number five, uh, Bilal Kulani. I've seen him play in the back line before. So that could be an option for Coach uh, Andy Wagstaff this evening. And it's doubtful that he will go to that early on. But you can already see a couple of times where Detroit Union has been able to penetrate the back line of the Bucks and able to get in pretty deep with the ball. Here's Bilal Kulani. Sprays it wide to um, Amadou Cisse. Back to Tambe. Foster goes for the long ball. It's brought down, but turned over once again. Detroit come into the middle. Good pressure from the Bucks. Looks like they might force a turnover here. Young number eight, Ali Kerbanali, has been um, full of action so far in this early 10 minutes or so here. Both teams should be said, um, maybe not super familiar with each other, Detroit Union playing the UPSL, and uh, they're just two games into their fall season. And uh, this Bucks team, like I said, made of a, a mix of uh, some legends and some veterans of the Bucks uh, National Championship in 2019. And then um, some very exciting young players that have made an impact in these exhibitions. So it'll be interesting how they gel as the game goes on. It looks like number 11 is on side here. Detroit going in, and he tucks goal. it away. Costa Wells, Detroit Union, take the lead here in uh, the 11th minute. And just as we talked about, that back line of the Bucks of playing with three in the back is uh, a little bit suspect right now. They were able to get in behind them, go in alone on the goalkeeper, uh, and that's going to have to be looked at uh, closely by the coach, Andy Wagstaff, to see if he's got to make a change out of that system or whether or not they can settle in. Looking at the replay here, uh, beautiful long ball over the top, and Wells slots it home for the opening goal of the evening. We'll see the Bucks uh, challenged here tonight. Uh, they have to come back from an early deficit. I think this is the first time in the fall season that they've been behind. So it'll be interesting to see how they play and whether they can handle that pressure, and that just dribbled out of bounds. Oh, well, that was a nice little, uh, nice little move on the touchline, but unfortunately was not able to keep it in there, uh, Cisse. The uh, former uh, AFC Ann Arbor player and uh, Madonna Offensive Player of the Year in 2016 has some awesome moves and is a goal threat, but unable to keep it in there on the close touchline. But off we go away again. Another long diagonal. Will it find the uh, recipient? Eventually, yes, it does. Foster plays it to Kalani. Oh, nice dummy by the youngster number eight. Nice slotted ball here. Let's see if we can get a cross in out of this. Ooh. An entanglement there on the uh, far side. No foul, just to throw in here. We got, we got some dangerous players lurking in the box if uh, they can get some service, but not just yet as the uh, play is ruled offside in the far corner. I'll take this break to uh, let you know about the Genesee group. 
Managing a supply chain is complex. Manufacturers, distributors, logistics providers partner with Genesee Group so they can focus on their core business. Contact the Genesee Group for your logistical needs. Back to the action is Detroit. Kick it into the midfield and we're seeing a little bit of head tennis here. Referee saw something he didn't like. And for record, tonight's match officials are Jordan Howard, Rob Ruda, and Marcus Barnett. Good crew here with us here tonight. Beautiful night here in Flint, Michigan on the campus of Kettering University. Really got that crispness to the air, kind of in between uh, jacket and t-shirt weather. By the end of this game, it's going to be down in the 50s, so it'll get chilly as we go. Looks like a dangerous opportunity afoot as we get a, a quickly taken free kick that has a low cross but is gobbled up into the arms of goalkeeper Colin Coppola. Yeah, perfect game to be playing tonight. Nice and cool out. Players uh, don't have to deal with any heat. So <laughs> they should be able to run and stay fresh. Ooh, that was a dangerous ball. And... Uh, the Bucks number 11, Yuri Farkas, almost got on the end of that. A little chip ball. Doesn't find his intended target. But here comes Cisse on his right foot. He gets by one, twice. Oh, trying to find uh, Farkas in the middle, un unable to. Ball's still loose in the box. Will he get the cross in? No, he doesn't. And that defender did very well as the Bucks. Uh, unable to even draw a corner there, a goal kick for Detroit Union FC. MMR provides pre-hospital care and medical transportation using basic, advanced, critical care, ambulances, wheelchair, vans, and medical dispatching services. Mobile Medical Response is the official medical response partner of the Flint City Bucks. Long kick into midfield here by Detroit. Comes again to Cisse. What is he going to do with it under pressure? Costa Wells proving to be a, a difficult uh, assignment here in the yearly goings. Ball into Foster Apaya. He sprays it wide to the top of the field. Surveying his options there. Now during the 2021 season, did they often play... Uh, through the back like this? Certainly, uh, they're a possession-oriented team, the Bucks, and always played through the back. They didn't use this system often. They've used it some, but mainly played with a four-back system, so this is a little bit different. The crowd upset here with no call for uh, their Bucks hero, Ayuk Tambe. Looked like uh, Michael Watungu gave him a little push, but uh, no call there. Bucks fans, not so happy, but we play on. Michael Watungu, that brings up a name from the past. He was on the Bucks team, I think, back in either 2017 or 18. So he's uh, he goes way back with the club. Yes, uh, he was a four-year starter for Michigan State Spartans and uh, played two games for you here in 2019. 2019, I guess it was it early on, and then he got hurt. That's a shame. I thought, he was, I thought he was also a player in 2018. I might be mistaken on that, but I think he was with us then as well. Here come the Bucks. Long shot. Just over the bar there. I believe that's the first shot uh, taken by the Bucks. And as we wait for the next goal kick, I'll let you know that United Way Genesee uh, County fights for the health, education, financial stability, and basic needs for every resident of Genesee and Shiawassee counties. Visit unitedwaygenesee.org to donate or find volunteer opportunities. Back to the action here as Detroit Union look to build out from the back. Gets around the youngster, plays a through ball. Number seven gets knocked to the floor, but uh, looked like um, David uh, Achara. Help me with David's name. Acharandio. It looked like Acharandio got in there, but ruled a foul. Yeah, I think he was going to look to see whether or not Union was going to get the ball back and attack, and then when they didn't, he blew the whistle, so he put the advantage there. 
Number 11, Costa Wells, uh, proving to be difficult to handle indeed in these early goings. Uh, really pressed uh, the back line of the Bucks into a foul that uh, sets up this uh, free kick from about, what's that, the, the 19 yard line? About 30 yards out. Uh, Shefik Kuri steps up. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see here whether he tries to take a shot from this far out or whether he's going to try and clip that end behind. Not enough players for the Union to clip it, so he's going to be shooting. And you got to, from that distance, you're going to have to hit it a lot harder than that as well. Even if you get that ball around or over the top of the wall, it's going to be easily saved. Here we go, got a quick counter coming. And uh, that shot goes just wide. And if you're just joining us, my name is Robert Kerr, alongside Gary Parsons here on Mid Michigan Channel 46, as well as the Bucks YouTube channel. Flint City Bucks uh, playing their final of five exhibition matches here tonight. The curtain closer on Fan Appreciation Night of the 2021 calendar. You know, a bit of a sloppy pass in there by Ollie that time. Here comes Tapchum on the near side. Gets around one, plays a nice connecting ball. Here's Wells into the middle to Dorley. Some good combination play here from Detroit Union. Cut out though by the Bucks. Played back to the goalkeeper who is under pressure but gets the uh, boot away. A <laughs> nice shoulder pass there from uh, Dorley. Appreciate those. Reminds me of that old Mario Balotelli goal he scored for Manchester City back in the day with his shoulder. That was one of my favorites. Here come the Bucks trying to do something, but it's taken away there at midfield on the Kettering Bulldog logo. Jose Aguilar was trying to get things going, but was stopped there by the Detroit defense. Oh, turnover here. Here comes Guy, or Jaros, my apologies, but uh, Bucks defense take care of that threat. Like you said, uh, Gary, <laughs> the Bucks back three is definitely being challenged uh, with these uh, conflicting systems right here. But here comes Bucks down the far side, looking for a call, and they get it. Yeah, the other thing is they've been a little bit careless with the ball deep in their own end, trying to dribble out of the back under pressure, and have lost it a couple of times to create quick counters. And you certainly don't want to be doing that. And we've been uh, a bit suspect both offensively out of the back and also defensively a little bit. Ball in, playing into the box but is cut out by Watungu. Not too far as it's back on the far side. Loose pass uh, is missed and it gets recycled through the Bucks back line. Uh, tonight, uh, the exhibition winning streak is on the line for the Flint City Bucks. Have won their previous 11 in a row exhibition matches from these four and the seven exhibitions played uh, during our uh, forgettable summer of 2020. Uh, here comes Cisse, puts in a box, uh, ball into the box, but it uh, takes a single hop into the grateful arms of Colin Coppola. He rolls it out to Dooley. Cisse on his oh. back, might get in there, There's and he another does. another bad turn over there. Playing advantage, Cisse on his left foot, blocked. Left footed there strikes. You go. That hits the net, all right. Yuri Farkas with the opening goal for the Bucks, the equalizer here in the 22nd minute. Yeah, as good as Dooley was playing tonight, and he was having a good game, but that was a bad turnover on his part. Uh, back in his back third of the field that uh, Amadou Sisi was able to pinch. Uh, get a shot blocked, but it came right to Farkas, who buried it. That was a wonderful volley, as we'll see on this replay. Sisi gets up from that challenge, his attempt blocked, but a left-footed wonder strike equalizes for the Flint City Bucks. <laughs> That's 
That's one of the trickiest things about this game is you can play so well the whole game and one mistake can cost you dearly. Yeah, you have to play the game differently when you're in front of your own goal than you do when you're out away from the goal in the, either the front third of the field or the middle third of the field. You make a mistake in the back third like that, there's, uh, it's, it doesn't take long to get a goal. Oh, here comes the young man. Oh, and he feeds a through in. ball. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. <laughs> he made that challenge outside of the box, did Coppola. But <laughs> the save proved to be uh, really well really well executed as uh, Detroit Union's defense was able to recover. But, wow, he was wide open in on goal. Yeah, Great there's... through ball by the young 17-year-old uh, 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 Kurabanali. Very slick up to uh, Jose Aguilar, who had that one on one opportunity with the goalie. But I thought he might, uh, I thought the Detroit goalie might get into trouble there outside of his box, but did well. Looks like Ali is going to get a, uh, a chance to play this, perhaps. Nope. Left footed cross into the box. Dealt with for a moment, but only goes as far as Bilal Kulani who's very shifty on the ball and good thinker out there in the midfield. Cisse comes out wide to Achiario. Turned over. Here comes Detroit. Good pressure to recover the ball back after losing it. Um, very quick to recover. That was excellent. They did not let Detroit and uh, Elton Gura make any headway into the Bucks half. And here come the Bucks again. Tried to get uh, the ball up to Cisse. Not this time. Yeah, he's got to be that off. That passed yeah, surely yeah. offsides, and here comes the whistle. With that offside, I'm going to let you guys know about Kettering University. And the university provides cooperative and exper uh, experiential learning-based education in the science technology, education, mathematics, and business fields. Visit Kettering.edu to start your next chapter today. Ball back in play. That could be a dicey back pass as uh, Jura was barreling down on Nooner, but was able to uh, pick it up. Nooner takes the long way, route one. Detroit uh, manages to, to get their foot on the ball. Here comes Tapchum up the left side. He sprays it wide, but out of bounds. The uh, owner and founder of the Bucks opponents tonight hasn't quite gotten into the rhythm of the game so far. I've seen him kind of uh, pointing and directing his team, but has himself played a couple of uh, wayward passes. Here's a loose ball out in front. Detroit here on the edge of the Bucks box, cycling it around. Can they get service into the box? There's three red shirts on the edge looking for some supply. No movement, though, is it? as uh, the ball kind of stalls out at the top of the attacking third. And that's a very loose pass. I thought Ali was going to get on the end of that. Stays with Detroit for the moment until they turn it over. Getting a little sloppy here for the moment. Back pass will challenge Nooner. Oh, <laughs> really challenged him as the Detroit gets it back, but are bailed out a little bit there by that <laughs> offsides flag. Yeah, you got the uh, Jake Nooner that time making a bad ball, trying to get the ball to the outside wide guy. Got it cut out. And again, uh, some sloppy, uh, some soft, sloppy play by both teams in front of their own goal. You think that could be from a lack of experience playing all together, or uh, what would you attribute that to? Yeah, and some pressure from the other team. It's been high pressure by both teams. Uh, so these guys are going to have to be able to handle the ball under that pressure. And ball in the air here at midfield. Can Cisse take it down? He does. He's got three ahead of him. Comes wide. Can number 11 get it in the box? He's got it on his left foot. Can he shoot? He passes. Number eight, oh, Ali. Ali got caught leaning back on that shot. Side-footed it and got under it. Got to stay over the ball when you strike it. The Bucks would like to thank 
Dort Financial Credit Union for their most generous support as the official team sponsor. Dort Federal has been proudly serving Flint and Genesee County since 1951. They have grown over the years to 11 locations now in Genesee, Lapeer, and Shiawassee counties. Thank you, Dort Federal Credit Union. Looks like Elton Jura coming off after uh, doing really well to, to press the Bucks back line in the uh, opening 28 minutes of the uh, half. Checking in uh, for Detroit Union FC is Abu Al Gabri, who scored in uh, the league game for Detroit against Inter just last weekend. Yeah, these two teams at different uh, stages of their uh, calendar. The Bucks, of course, this is a fan appreciation night. Curtain closer in the season, while uh, the UPSL side is uh, just restarting their fall season. So, and I'll tell you what, of all the USL, uh, U USPL teams, uh, Detroit Union has looked uh, to give Bucks all they can handle tonight so far. I've been impressed with them. I saw them in a closed door friendly through the summer against Oakland County FC, and uh, they gave uh, CFC first teamers uh, a good run for their money there. Here comes Cisse on the close touchline, looking for someone to feed. He gets it to David, who puts in the cross that goes out. No, it doesn't go out. Goalkeeper Colin Coppola manages to get a hold of that before it goes out of bounds for a corner kick. He plays quickly before his team was able to really get out of their own area. That kind of sets Bucks up to come right back at them. Flag comes up for offside there. Yuri Farkas deemed yeah, he, to be behind the defense when yeah, that ball was back played. To the ball, but he was too late. Got caught hanging out behind the uh, back line of the uh, Detroit Union and tried to get himself onside but wasn't able to. Again, welcome in viewers to CW46 and the Flint City Bucks YouTube channel. My name is Robert Kerr alongside Gary Parsons here for the curtain closer of the 2021 oh, season. Here comes again. Bilal Kulani, whose shot was uh, blocked at the edge of the box. Looked like trouble there for the Union. I feel like a lot of these goals... I feel like we're going to see a lot of them tonight if they, the teams continue to turn it over in front of their own goals. Yeah, that's twice now for Dorley. And a good, good switch here. And again, here comes Costa the Wells. Side, just, missed, just didn't quite connect with that ball. But again, they're finding some space in behind the Bucks defense. Oh, shot there by the uh, the new player who just subbed in, Abu Al Gabri, gave it a left-footed shot. Goes a uh, harmlessly short of the near post for. Uh, Jake Nooner. Another bad ball into midfield, but they got away with it. They got the ball back. Just some uh, sloppy play coming out of the back by the Bucks and also by B Detroit Union. Kalani on the ball. He finds uh, Ali, who, uh, for not for the first time, I think it's three or four times uh, Ali Kurban Ali, the youngster in the middle of the field for the Bucks, has, has played a clever little dummy which has uh, found some space for his attacking teammates. And I was excited to see uh, him when I read his bio. I was really excited to see him play tonight. And so far in the opening half an hour, he's, he's been pretty exciting. Here he is on the ball again. Kurban Ali taken down there by Dorley. And uh, number eight for the Bucks tonight, Ali in the, uh, the Bucks Academy. Move the ball right now, move the ball. You don't need to be playing every ball in the box. You got two guys open, one on the flank here, one in the middle, and just get the ball down and play it quickly. Maybe one of those uh, older players uh, give him instructions, but here he is on the ball again, stripped. Right. Here comes Dorley. He's got two ahead of him. He finds the player on the right. The ball, uh, the pass takes him a little wide. He's gonna have to do, oh, a short pass here to Dorley on the edge of the box, looking for a lefty. Will he find space? No. But Detroit will get on the ball here in due time. Here comes Tapchum. Looking for a pass into the box. And well shepherded out there for the goal kick. 
Before that uh, series, I was telling you about Ali Kurbanali. He's a 17-year-old Afghan refugee in the Bucks uh, Academy system and is the oldest of six siblings. So he's showing out for uh, his siblings and obviously himself tonight. Impressive in the uh, opening 33 minutes. But here comes Cissé on the right. He chips it in. Will there be a shot attempt? B bouncing around. Bucks really starting to impose their will. Camping out in the uh, Detroit box are four Bucks shirts. Number 14 for Detroit does very well to prevent the service. Bucks were swarming. I feel like uh, there's a hunger for goals going on right now. There's goals in this game for sure. Yeah, they just got to be careful because they've committed so many players forward. And you can even see even the last player back was 10 yards in the front half of the field. And that opens up space like there. And, uh, and luckily, Jake Nooner was well outside his 18 to intercept that ball. Yeah, Nooner was hip to that. And Bucks come right back down. No wonder they're camping out. They feel like there's an opportunity here, but yeah, don't want to be exposed in the back end. 21 of the 22 players in the offensive half here. Dancing in the box was... I mean, you can Acheradio. see how deep both both players' center, center backs have come into the attacking part of the field, and it just leaves nothing but space <laughs> behind them. Plenty of running and excitement, though, but you gotta I'm hold, sure... Hold one of those players at the half line. You can push one in, but not both. See, Kalani... Uh, is being dragged uh, into a, a back four by uh, Dorley's or Costa Wells's movement here. Um, David Acherandio now covering back for the moment. Bucks though looking to build. Uh, not being pressed. That early press by Detroit seems to have faded off a bit. Yeah, well, we're 35 minutes into this match, so. These guys are starting to get a little bit tired out there. You can't high press the entire game. Corbinali picks his head up. Left footed service into the box. Looking for Cisse. Defense cuts it out for the moment. Aguilar was uh, dealing with it at the top of the box, but wasn't able to uh, keep the offensive move going for the Bucks. A lot of the players on the uh, uh, Detroit Union, a lot of them, a handful of them on the Stars U23. Uh, some variety of players from a lot of different backgrounds here tonight. Here come the Bucks with Kulani. Yeah, that's a good switch that time out to the left flank. Get numbers in the box now. Kurbanali, will he get to it? He gets a left-footed service, but it goes behind the goal. No danger there. And to be fair, we haven't quite seen uh, anything too decisive since that uh, equalizing goal. And uh, at this time, Ascension Genesis Health Club is dedicated to providing a life-changing health and wellness experience for people of all ages. Ascension Genesis Health Club. Get in, get fit, and get the most out of life. Thirty-six minutes gone here at historic Atwood Stadium. Robert Kerr alongside Gary Parsons for the curtain dropper on the Bucks 2021 20, season. One one we stand so far, but looks like there's gonna be some more goals in this if uh <laughs> the opening thirty-seven minutes or so has uh proven anything there's been some loose play in the midfield and plenty of uh, fast counter-attacking opportunities it's got him open down this flank if he gets his hip open up bit of a sloppy ball that time that was hard to handle yeah good switch out to the left side by Nooner that time Nooner found some space and uh, I didn't think that was a foul. I thought he got to the ball first and made a clean pass with it. Got, got the player on the foul through a little bit, but 
Anyway, it'll be uh, Union's ball. Was that Bentley on the far side? Yeah, uh, that was Elliot Bentley made that. Uh, I don't know if you want to call that a pass or a tackle. <laughs> a tackle. You know, a little both. Yeah. And a foul. Yeah, <laughs> Elliot Great. Bentley, of course, a member of that uh, 2019 National Championship Bucks side. Um, he also, uh, fun note about him, uh, hit the uh, clinching uh, penalty against uh, Detroit City FC in the uh, NPSL semifinal for Odessa, Texas back in uh, 2017. Detroit Union have a little bit of uh, time on the ball, but uh, the forwards of the Bucks not giving them uh, an easy path through the midfield here. Long ball looking for uh, Tapchum. Will he get a turn on him? Pokes it back to Costa Wells, to Dorley. Gets around one. To the middle. Workman. Dancing on the far side of the box. Looking for some space. Al Gabri dances with it, finds, gets the ball back. Getting blocked off there. Great defensive uh, teamwork there to really get numbers in front of the ball. But uh, a loose pass there will uh, force the corner. Force a corner kick for the visiting Detroit Union FC. And with that uh, quick break. Uh, we want to talk about commercial graphics, print, and design are the pros that know how to get the job done. Commercial graphics, print, and design can handle all your printing needs from start to finish. In their fully equipped facility in Burton, check them out at commercialgraphicsofmichigan.com. Okay, here comes the Detroit Union corner into the box. Floats, popped up, and cleared. Jose Aguilar, the lone buck, uh, pressing after that cleared corner. Ball comes back into the box. What is dealt with by Watungu? Bad turnover that time by Cece, but we get it back. Not been the, the cleanest game so far in this first half by either team. A lot of unnecessary turnovers in the back half of the field by both teams. Cisse gets on the ball. Up nice the right wing. Ball that time. Wants to cut on his left. Gets the shot. Oh, but just right into Coppola's welcome arms. Yuri Farkas there looking dangerous on the near side. The front uh, attacking core seems to be pretty fluid with their position. Uh, they've kind of switched around quite a bit as the first half has worked its way. Beautiful night here in Flint, Michigan. Nice, cool, crisp fall evening after a uh, soaking wet morning and week, really. The river off in the distance, uh, just beyond the stadium, looking pretty high as the ball is played to the far right side. Detroit looking to get on the board before halftime. Dances towards the middle, looking for an outlet. Number 12. Not able to get anything, but does draw the whistle. <sighs> kind of a funny position here. When you're this far out, what is this, 30, 35 yards out? That either requires a absolute missile or uh, maybe something clever to get in behind the defense. What I do right now is knock this ball out wide. Well, he was out wide waiting on it, Dorley, for a minute there. Now he's come in behind the defense. But it's, this is a difficult angle to make something happen from straight up the field when you're that far out. They actually overlap that right side now with that right back and find good space out there if he was looking for it. He instead went for the rocket blocked. attempt. <laughs> Didn't work out, but it comes back out to Detroit. They loft the ball into the box, but it's cleared. Bucks might have an opportunity to counter, and it's cut out there by the Detroit defense. 
Dorley battling, but it pops out to the Bucks once again. Ball played through. You got to go one on one here if you can. Detroit does well to uh, get numbers behind the ball, but here's Kulani. He takes an attempt. Whoa! Oh, that was a great strike. Bilal Kulani from 30 to 35 yards out gives it a blast with his right boot, but it goes just past the goal post, and I'm sure <laughs> the goalkeeper Coppola takes a big sigh of relief as uh, we see a plethora of substitutions coming in. Uh, Kevin Tapcham comes out for the visitors, and uh, no Macias comes in for the Bucks. Number 23 and number 21, Demba Gay and Mohamed Keita come in. Coming out was Jose Aguilar and Ali Kurban Ali. The young academy product, impressive in his uh, almost a full first half of play here tonight. Of course, it's an exhibition match, so there are... Uh, unlimited uh, substitutions tonight and the players that were substituted can re-enter the game if uh, coaches want them back in exhibition so it's fun right yeah and it's, it, it's you're able to go with a little bit of a smaller lineup as well you only need probably 15 16 guys to get through the game and with no problems instead of having the 18 or it's necessary when you don't have re-entry Another sloppy ball in midfield, but we get it back again. Substitute Keita sprays it out wide. Bucks pressing, looking to get the go-ahead goal right before halftime. Service comes into the box low, but dealt with by Watungu. Detroit tries to spring a counterattack, but the ball uh, yeah. goes just wide into the shrubbery and to the scoreboard on the far side. I'd like to see Ayuk uh, go one-on-one -on -one out on that left flank a little bit more. Then he's just, he's received the ball, taken it down the line, then pulled it back and played it to his support. But I'd, I'd like to see him try and beat his guy and get in the box with the ball. We got a counter here. Uh, well covered there by uh, our guy, Mosamba Jata covering that uh, maybe dangerous situation for the Detroit Union. Foul on the far side will set up a uh, last chance first half play for the Detroit Union as we hit uh, stoppage time in the first half. The Detroit Union looking to play it into the box. They want to go ahead going into the locker room here in Flint, Michigan. Right-footed cross comes in, dealt with, yeah, not a didn't good beat one. the first man. That ball, you got to clear that first defender when you yeah. serve that ball. You can't hit something low in there that gets cut out because that's a formula to get countered. And here we go. That play still, sequence still playing out here. Here comes the substitute. Gay almost got onto the ball, but it's cut out. Farkas, left footed, oh, nice brings it into the ball, Farkas there. on the top of the box, looking for a shooting angle, but he sprays it wide. That's where you go one on one right now. Will he bring it for the one right footer? He does, but it is over the goal. And with that is the end of the first half of this final exhibition match of the 2021 fall season. I'm Robert Kerr alongside Gary Parsons as we go into the halftime break. Detroit Union FC got on the board first, but then before too long, the Flint City Bucks equalized. And here we are, the curtain closer of the Flint City Bucks 2021 season reaches halftime on CW46 Mid-Michigan and streaming live on Flint City Bucks YouTube. 
Do you take this Visa Signature card that pays 2% cash back? I do. Do you want a checking account that pays 5% interest? I, I do. Live happily ever after with a Boost checking account on a Visa Signature card from Dort Financial Credit Union. Insured by NCUA. Calling it a day, Carrie? Oh, no. There's more. Like what? More reps. More steps. More this. More that. More time to breathe. More hustle. More grind. There's more to Carrie Underwood. And I should wrap by midnight. Impressive. And there's more to Body Armor Light with natural sweeteners, no sugar added, and only 20 calories. EMS training is very affordable. For the cost of one semester at a four-year university, you'd be able to complete both your EMT and your paramedic training. In addition, if you come to work at Mobile Medical Response as an EMT, we'll pay for your paramedic training and provide the scheduling support for you to be successful in the program. And you can do all of this without amassing a great deal of student debt. There's a bright future in EMS. Once you obtain your EMT license and go on to obtain your paramedic license, your options increase dramatically. You can become a field training officer, you can become a field supervisor, you can work in operations. There are opportunities in administration and leadership within organizations. At Big John Steak and Onion, vegetables are no more than a condiment. We don't hide a few pieces of mound of veggies. Every Big John Steak and Onion is stacked with 100% ribeye steak, seasoned to perfection, and piled into a fresh Italian sub roll. If you want a lot of fresh vegetables, grab one of our salads, though we'll be happy to put some steak on that too. Don't forget to complete your meal with our original Big John kettle chips. It all awaits you at your local Big John Steak and Onion. Our clients enjoy working with us because we're a family. They love being served by an organization that understands family and relationships. Our clients enjoy working with us because I truly believe that they understand we have their best interest at heart. We want to see them succeed, and I think that it's a good partnership because of that. We're really revolved around our faith. Um, we're revolved around this fierce loyalty to each other, uh, around being authentic, about having open conversations, and about just doing good and serving others. We feel like there's a greater mission and a greater calling in that because if we're serving our clients and we're doing that well and we have their best interests in mind, that translates to then their family and their family is going to feel that and then they can also show that to their community. Having grown up on the orchard my entire life, I always knew I wanted to come back into the family business. The goal was to create the best product possible, but more importantly, it was to pay respect to the tradition of our family's apple growing heritage and the profession that I've come to love. Our production team, our cider makers here, we really draw all of our inspiration from what we do here. And it's pretty simple. Apples are grown here, they're pressed here, and they're served here. I think that no matter how far Blake's Hard Cider goes, it's always gonna be rooted in our backyard. My name is Mike Rogers. I'm the owner of Commercial Graphics of Michigan Incorporated. We are a design, graphic design and printing company, uh, full service print, bindery, graphic design, anything you can think of. We started Commercial Graphics in 1984. We'll be celebrating our 34th anniversary this year in April. Our mission is to provide the highest quality graphic design and printing products to our clients at a, a tremendous value and with impeccable service. I got into this business basically because I had to. Um, the company I was working for closed. I was managing an implant print shop. And we had an opportunity to uh, purchase our own retail printing company, which we did back in 1984. So, out of necessity, I guess, but it's, it's really uh, been a dream come true for us. 
print is not dead by, by any means. Um, our industry's changed dramatically during the last 10 to 15 years, uh, going from a majority of offset work to digital work. And fortunately for commercial graphics, we kept up with the technology and we have state-of-the-art digital printing equipment. We still have the offset, which makes for a nicely rounded shop. We have lots of options on how to print your jobs, which we always look for the best value for our, our customers. Oh, I'd just like to say thank you to my B&I partners. Uh, without you guys, uh, Commercial Graphics would, would not have experienced the growth and the success we have. We've been in B&I for over 15 years, and uh, really, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate it very much. Well, we're located, physically located, uh, at 1453 Wally Strasse in Burton. It's our brand new facility. We moved here uh, two years ago. Uh, you can find us on the web at www.commercialgraphicsofmi.com and you can always find us on Facebook. I'd just like to say, uh, give us a try, check us out, you won't be disappointed. Commercial Graphics, business printing by the printing pros. Growing up watching my grandfather work on watches and my dad sorting diamonds, I didn't really expect to be working in the family jewelry store. I went to the Chicago area for college and graduated there, and that was a really special time in my life. But I witnessed Flint's recovery taking place before my eyes and I decided that I wanted to be a part of it. What better way to make a living than helping customers find something that they can treasure for a lifetime? I'm Selena Gaines at Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. Since 1936, Dover has been specializing in doors for your home. Do you do garage doors? Dover does it. The area's largest selection to meet everybody's style and budget. But do you do entry doors? Absolutely. From steel, fiberglass, wood core, we have the look you'll love. Dover does it. How about storm doors? Of course, we have them all. Steel, aluminum, glass, and the very popular retractable screen. Dover does it. Were you gonna ask about interior doors? Why not? You know it. Whether it's a hanging door, bifold door, sliding door, special shapes and sizes, Dover does it. For all your door needs, installation or service, trust the experts. We've been delivering quality for over 80 years. Dover does it. Our clients enjoy working with us because we're a family. They love being served by an organization that understands family and relationships. Our clients enjoy working with us because I truly believe that they understand we have their best interest at heart. We want to see them succeed and I think that it's a good partnership because of that. We're really revolved around our faith. Um, we're revolved around this fierce loyalty to each other, uh, around being authentic, about having open conversations, and about just doing good and serving others. We feel like there's a greater mission and a greater calling in that because if we're serving our clients and we're doing that well and we have their best interests in mind, that translates to then their family and their family is going to feel that and then they can also show that to their community. Having been my entire life, I always knew I wanted to come back into the family business. The goal was to create the best product possible, but more importantly, it was to pay respect to the tradition of our family's apple growing heritage and the profession that I've come to love. Our production team, our cider makers here, we really draw all of our inspiration from what we do here. And it's pretty simple. Apples are grown here, they're pressed here, and they're served here. I think that no matter how far Blake's Hard Cider goes, it's always gonna be rooted in our backyard. Halo Burger is about tradition that began 97 years ago. Halo Burger has grown to become an iconic and nostalgic brand that never forgets its commitment to the community. In nearly every corner of the community, you'll find Halo Burger stepping up to make a positive impact on the communities it serves, a philosophy that's been in place since the Thomas family days and one that makes this brand so special to so many people. They're not just a business, they're family, and family looks out for family.
You work overtime to build the life you want. With PFCU Mobile Services, we are where you are, making banking easier and access to loans that will help you reach your financial goals. Stop by or visit us online today. If your grandparent needs immediate medical care, get to Hurley Medical Center. Hurley's emergency room was recently certified a bronze standard level three geriatric emergency department. So don't delay your grandparents' care. Your grandma is safe at Hurley. At Regional Medical Imaging, we have a singular focus, patient care and imaging. Our patients are top priority. With RMI's new virtual check-in or VCI process, you can expect singular contact imaging, meaning you will only come in contact with the technologist performing your exam. At RMI, every technologist has the proper protective equipment, and we have enough supplies to offer every patient a mask. Your safety is our number one priority. Regional Medical Imaging, our family taking care of your family. I didn't realize how limited my range of motion was, so when I raised my arm, it would go click, click, click all the way up, and now I can uniformly go up and down with no, no pain. I'm fine now. I'll do everything now. The improvements in simple things, like laying down at bed and going to sleep in peace, is, is invaluable. Advanced physical therapy got me back into everything that I used to do faster than the doctors expect me to. Don't let pain stop you. Advanced PT can help at eight convenient locations. My grandfather was Bob Gaines. He grew up in the Depression and used the GI Bill and hard work to start our family business, provide the best living he could for his family. He probably didn't envision his grandchildren selling and making jewelry in the store almost 60 years later. I love being part of the ongoing legacy that my grandfather started. Making and selling jewelry isn't just a job for us. It's not just what we do, it's who we are. I'm Wesley Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store. And Flint is my town. Calling it a day, Carrie? Oh no, there's more. Like what? More reps, more steps. More this, more that. More time to breathe. More hustle, more grind. There's more to carry underwear. And I should wrap by midnight. Impressive. And there's more to Body Armor Light with natural sweeteners, no sugar added, and only 20 calories. This organization cares. They're on the front lines with us. They hear our stories. They really know what we need. I honestly wouldn't be here now if I didn't have this organization. Do you take this visa? A signature card that pays 2% cash back? I do. Do you want a checking account that pays 5% interest? I, I do. Live happily ever after with a boost checking account on a Visa signature card from Dort Financial Credit Union. Insured by NCUA.
Welcome back to Flint City Bucks Soccer here tonight. Welcome back into historic Atwood Stadium on Kettering University's campus. We are at halftime, about to start the second half of the curtain closing exhibition match, the final match of the Bucks 2021 soccer calendar. Story of the first half, despite the Bucks 11 game exhibition winning streak, it was Detroit Union who scored first tonight in the 10th minute when the impressive number 11 for Detroit, Costa Wells, slotted past Flint goalkeeper Jake Nooner. Just a few minutes later in the 22nd minute, Flint City Bucks replied with their own number 11, Yuri Farkas, blasting a left-footed volley into the back of the net to tie it all up. Moments later, another key moment of the match, Union keeper Colin Coppola came out of his box to deny Buck striker Jose Aguilar on the breakaway using his feet, which was probably the most dangerous situation other than the two goals tonight. My name's Robert Kerr alongside Gary Parsons. What did you make of that first half and what do you want to see improve in the second? Actually, it was a pretty uh, entertaining and also even first half. I thought both teams got their chances. Maybe the Bucks had a little bit more of the play, but not by a lot. Um, if I'm the Bucks coach, I'm looking to tighten up things defensively uh, down on this end of the field because I thought that was probably their biggest issue. Uh, and if you're the union, I think you've got to be happy with the first half. Uh, again, you probably need to tighten up a couple of turnovers in the back and say, play a little bit safer out of the back. But overall... Good first half, 1-1 one, one game, and you got to be happy. All right, the two 11s for each side got their goals. Who will get their goal here in the second half of the final Bucks game of 2021? Let's see. I feel like we got some more goals in here tonight. Starting off, who do we have on this side in the second half? We got number two, Elliot Bentley, distributing it down the line. That's knocked out of bounds for an early Flint City Bucks throw in. And looking at the shape of things, I think the Bucks have switched to uh, four in the back here. If Elliot Bentley, number two, is a left back, which I think he is by the shape of things. And you get, I can't see who's on the far side over there, but receiving the ball there is, it looks like David Acherandio is maybe playing the right back spot. So we'll see if that uh, shorts the back line up a little bit in the second half. Here comes Bentley. He taps it back to the substitute. Uh, Keita sprays it around. And just comes off of uh, Bentley there for uh, another Detroit Union throw in. And welcome viewers on mid-Michigan CW46 here in Flint, Michigan as well as all those around the world and locally watching on Flint City Bucks YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in tonight. It's great to get some, uh, some fall soccer action, an unusual exhibition series here after the USL 2 season, eh? Yeah, it's a little bit different, no doubt about it, uh, but entertaining soccer for the fans, and we're having a good game tonight, so uh, hopefully we'll see some more goals and, and a Bucks win. Uh, Tambe was uh, twisted up there in a bit of a crowd, and Detroit Union uh, tries to break out, but they're stopped over there by David Acherandio, who is really a very secure and consistent presence on the field there, I've noticed so far. Uh, another little very loose ball there is turned over, and here come Detroit. A couple step overs there in the middle by Abu Al Gabri, who substituted in midway through the first half. Bucks not, not pressing too much. They're just waiting for the mistake. Here comes Cisse. He's going to want to get on his left foot. He dances through, oh, makes a pass. Wide open, and there's the goal. Ayuk Tambe scores the second of the night. The go-ahead goal for the Flint City Bucks. Like we said, coming in the half, those loose balls in their defensive third. Will yeah, that, them. that's once again bad bad turnover in the back half of the field. Left uh, Led to a quick counterattack, and the 
Ayuk Tambe coming in on that weak side, scoring that goal. And there you have well, you got to be happy if you're Andy Wagstaff with that. If you've got to change the system here, and it's resulted in a goal in the first three minutes, three and a half minutes of the second half. So uh, kudos to the recognizing that some things weren't right and making those changes. And a couple 2019 national champions combining there for tonight's go-ahead goal. First lead of the night for Flint. And I'm sure they'll be looking for more. Acharandio into Tambe, who's uh, denied by the Detroit Union defense. Abu Gabri dances his way through and uh, is able to get the ball away. Detroit Union looking for a long diagonal, but kind of a hopeful ball, but do end up getting on it. Bit of a scrum there. Number 21 for the Bucks came in just before halftime, Mohamed Keita. Brand new to the Bucks. A nice pinch by Archerondio there. Let's see if we get something out of this counter. Keita passes it wide. Cisse dancing on the corner of the box, looking for the cross. Oh, he nice gets it across. Oh, and the defender did well as, is that Archerondio? No. Number 11, uh, Farkas was lurking for another oh, he's in volley. Oh, backside. Just couldn't quite get on the end of that one, but couple of nice crosses. The Bucks are looking pretty aggressive and pretty threatening in these early stages of the second half. While we have a moment, I'll let you know about Dover and Company is committed to being the premier provider of quality garage doors and openers in Michigan. Visit DoverCompany.com for your garage door needs. And here comes Detroit. But look at that uh, speed, that recovery speed from the Bucks number 15. Foster Apaya absolutely uh, nullified that fast break down the near touchline. And <laughs> having fast defenders, there's nothing quite like it. Uh, it really covers up a lot of uh, uh, mistakes and uh, attacking. Is that when you're out scouting, uh, Gary, um, is, is that one of the, the key uh, qualities to the defenders these days? Well, certainly, you know, you've got wide guys attacking wide guys who've got a lot of pace and good one-on-one -on -one ability. You've got to have outside backs that are quick as well. And your center backs maybe don't have to be quite that quick, but uh, certainly need to be athletic. Well, if uh, defenders are hanging out on the, uh, the midfield line, they're going to be doing a lot of running. Yeah, you've got and, a lot uh, of space in behind you. You're going to have to recover quickly. Oh, oh pass just turnover. misses Kulani. That sets up Wells, who puts it well over the goal here in the 52nd minute yeah both teams seem to like that turnover in the back half of the field tonight if, there's been if about there's a, a dozen so of them and here's another and again uh, detroit union putting in some good Good defensive pressure. I'm liking what I'm seeing from these guys tonight. They came to play, there's no doubt about that. And they're giving Bucks everything they can uh, throw at them to uh, try and upset them and knock off that uh, unbeaten streak of theirs. Yes, 11 game exhibition winning streak on the line here for the Bucks. In the last four games, they've outscored their opponents 22 to five. And so this is a very tight affair uh, considering uh, the, how the last four games have gone. But uh, that attack uh, breaks down, but uh, ball given back to the Bucks. Here's Kulani. Back to the defense, getting it down to Bentley. Steps over, turns back, gets himself some space. Kulani's got a nice little pocket of space there in the middle. Who's he going to pick out? Keita back to Kulani, who's uh, blocked off by... The Union defense. Yeah, I could have used the first touch there instead of just trying to play that ball first time. Yeah, there wasn't anyone really bearing down on him at that moment. High ball dealt with by the Bucks defense. Yeah, and again, Keita, uh, a little bit too slow in the middle of that turns midfield it over on the ball. Again. Uh, 
Elliot Bentley, uh, worried there for a second, turned around, noticed that uh, there was a Union defender behind him or an attacker behind him, but the Bucks do well to uh, get past that. Mohamed Keita. Early ball, early ball. Get this ball in play. There you go. There you go. Keita brought down uh, there in his own half. Ball's back underway. Uh, Bucks have... Uh, Got to go one-on-one on one here. In, on the, in some space here. He dances inside, takes oh, a right-footed nice shot. Which yeah, you'd like to see more well. of that from the flanks, and that's a good good example right now. Ayuk Tambe getting the ball, turning on his man, one-on-one, -on -one, go after him straight away, get a step on him and have a shot, cross, whatever is available to you. It's in so exciting when uh, the ball is at the feet of uh, Cisse and Tambe. They... Uh, they are just electric, and it seems like there could be a goal whenever they get on the ball. With this break, Flint City Bucks would like to thank Mike Brew at Advanced Physical Therapy Center for providing athletic training and physical therapy coverage of the team this season. From elite athletes to weekend warriors, Advanced Physical Therapy Center have the experts in getting you back in the game. Risk, don't risk your life, quality of life. Choose Advanced Physical Therapy Center, the official return to play partner of the Flint City Bucks. Detroit Union uh, gonna get flagged for offside here as they uh, looked to build toward Jake Nooner's goal. Yeah, again, sloppy play in the back though. I mean, both teams have just really been casual on the ball right in front of their own goal and they've paid the price tonight. I mean, I think all three goals actually came from turnovers in the back half, I believe. Um, I know two out of the three for sure did, and I believe the one that, uh, well, the, that Yuri the, Farkas scored was also off of a turnover in the back half the of the The opening field. goal for Detroit, the opening goal of the game, I believe. Uh, I don't remember if it was a turnover in the middle, but it was a through ball that some uh, over the top that some Bucks defenders thought was offside, but clearly was not. But, yes, definitely uh, defensive Just, turnovers are definitely the theme through the game through this first uh, yeah, 56 minutes. Yeah, there's been a minutes. lot of softy play in front of your own goal tonight. Well, the ref wants it uh, pushed back. Again, our refs tonight, Jordan Howard, Rob Ruda, Now, I would be going Barnett. to the center back and out the other side with this ball. Doing a nice job of building, so there you go. They said the heck with that, Gary. Go right down Here the strong side and beat the Bucks. Looked yeah, for a moment size. like Abu Al Gabri was going to get in behind the Bucks defense, but the linesman's flag goes up as he was too far behind the Bucks back line there before the pass was played. Cisse tries to turn down the near touch line, but is uh, blocked out by the Detroit defender. Keita scoops the ball in uh, for a throw in, goes a little wayward here. Elliot Bentley to throw in, into Cisse, who pops it. Number 11, who scoops it to Keita. Keita tries to turn inside. He's blocked off. He's still dancing in the box. Possibly oh, a he that for the penalty. penalty. He's doing a slow point. Which direction is he pointing? Is that a penalty there, Gary? I, I believe so, yes. There was a whistle, but no, no finger point there towards the penalty spot. And... Uh, Number 11 for the Bucks, Yuri Farkas with a scooped pass that caused all sorts of problems for a Detroit Union. And with uh, the way the players are setting up, penalty for the Flint City Bucks. Yeah, it was a bit of an, a needless one as well. He just kind of stuck his leg out there and tripped him. But, he, but, I mean, he was goal side of his man. He just needed to stay goal side. I'd like to see that one on replay if they've got it. Yeah, he, he was... He was in the box, Keita was, but he was definitely uh, being uh, uh, guided away, and there was definitely, like you yeah, said. Yeah, he started to dribble across the 18, and then just the guy just stuck his leg out, and over he went. Who would you uh, put on the penalty? Well, right now, it looks like Amadou Sisi, the big penalty scorer, is Ayuk Tambe, who scored the national championship goal on a penalty, but it looks like Amadou's taking charge here, and he's going to take this. I'm guessing he's going to the goalkeeper's right, but what do I know? Cisse to make it three for the Bucks. 
And he does it. Like I said, what do I know? He went to his left. So that takes a little bit of pressure off you. Yep, three to one now. Yes. Amadou Cisse, number 19 for the Flint City Bucks, makes it 3-1 here at Atwood Stadium. The uh, After the early go-ahead goal by the Detroit Union, like you said, that third goal releases that pressure. 2-1, to one, still a nervy affair. 3-1 to one, uh, could go either way. The, the next goal of the game, it sounds cliche, but the next goal could really tip the balance of the game. 3-2. Brings the nerves back in, 4-1, and th this game could uh, turn yeah, into a then, big score. Then, then it's uh, almost over if they get another one. But right now it's a little bit of a cushion to play with. Give you a little bit more uh, ability to maybe take some more chances if you're the Bucks, And if you're Detroit Union, you got to get one back here in the next, say, 15 minutes or so so you get back into this game. It's a good through ball there. And just after that goal, uh, Detroit Union's uh, goal scorer subbed out there. I don't know if he ran out of gas or they're just trying to give someone else a run out here tonight. But he, especially in the first half, Wells was a, a threat on the Bucks back line. You can see the confidence uh, back in the in, in the Bucks right now. They. They don't. They're not too worried at this point. They they look like they uh, are hungry for some more goals after well, have, uh, getting that penalty. They have definitely been a better team in the second half. They've played with a little bit more confidence. They've looked looked a lot steadier in the back. Keita blocked that ball out from Detroit Union, apparently illegally with his hand. So Detroit Union will get a restart here. Ball's rolling once again. Detroit Union uh, mid-season in their fall UPSL season. They're sitting in second place in the division after uh, opening their season with a win and a 2-2 draw against Inter Detroit last week. And they're on the opposite end as the Bucks are now tonight, Fan Appreciation Night, the curtain closer of the 2021 uh, calendar and the fifth of five uh, Fall exhibition matches here at Atwood Stadium. Long hopeful ball. This is going to be dicey. Oh, this is an goalie open goal. Chips it up for Cisse. Try to hit that thing over the goalkeeper and he ended up hitting it off the touchline, but the goal was wide open. Yes, that was a very uncomfortable situation for Coppola there, the Detroit goalie. It was popped up. He had to make a play on it, but he, he was really out in no man's land once that fell to... Uh, Cisse there and lucky that uh, he wasn't punished farther. Yeah, we have uh, a, Kevin Tapton checking back in. out there in no man's land on that one. And he had a defender back defending the ball, so probably not a good spot for him to be in. Yeah, if you were that defender, you probably wouldn't be too excited to see your goalie uh, exactly. side by side with you there. Yeah, let me deal with the ball and the attacker, and you deal with the goal. Free kick for Detroit taken quickly. They pass across the middle. Lee, who uh, played for uh, the DC FC U23 side, uh, a strong member of the uh, back line for Detroit Union, did very well for a team that won their league uh, handily this summer. He's on the ball once again, put under some pressure by Farkas. Back to the goalie, though, after that uh, moment of uh, worry under pressure. A ball on the far side. He's got a little bit of space. What do you think Detroit has to do to uh, to get back by the uh, the Bucks defense now that uh, they got those goals uh, 
the Bucks defense is kind of looking a bit more solid here. Yeah, the whole team is looking good, actually. You know, it's going to be difficult for Detroit Union now to get back into this thing. Bucks are playing with confidence. They're putting the pressure on Detroit. They're, they're locking them in near half of the field. So it's going to take some quality uh, ball possession to get themselves out of their own half. And again, a turnover in the back. And there's the goal. And that's the fourth goal of the night for the Flint City Bucks. Who was that? Your guy, David Acharandio, with number four on the evening. The theme of the night, defensive turnovers, uh, providing fruitful for the Bucks now, 4-1 in the 64th minute. Yeah, I'm afraid that that one's going to seal the deal for the Bucks. If you're you a Detroit the replay, Union nice fan, it's going to be hard to come back from three down now. And we got us three players coming in here, get fresh legs into this game. Elliot Bentley coming off. Acharandio coming off and Ayuk Tambe coming off. Like we said, the exhibition match, unlimited substitutions. Uh, these players coming off can come back in. Using the full bench this evening are both teams. And we're back underway, four to one. Flint City Bucks over Detroit Union FC uh, in the curtain closer of the 2021 season for the Flint City Bucks. I'm Robert Kerr alongside Gary Parsons here on CW46 in mid-Michigan and streaming live on Flint City Bucks YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us here tonight. It's a pleasure to be here on a crisp fall evening. Lots of goals to uh, talk about, lots of goals uh, for Bucks fans to celebrate here in this, this game that's later than uh, uh, Bucks fans have become used to. USL League Two season ends, you know, in uh, late July, and uh, we've been playing uh, exhibition matches. Like I said, the fifth of five exhibition matches, where uh, up until now uh, was 22 to five score line. So if I do my math correct, in the uh, four and a half or four and two thirds games, is uh, 29 to or. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get my maths right. No, it's 26 to 6. Uh, 22 and, yeah, 22 and 4 is 26. There you go. <laughs> we finally got it right. They're not paying me for the math skills here, Gary. Nor I. <laughs> but uh, excellent uh, to see so many goals. But uh, if you're the coaching staff for both of these uh, lineups, uh, I'm sure you'd be uh, telling your guys to stop turning it over in your own defensive third. That has been uh, the number one generator of offense in this match so far. And, you know, certainly something has to be said about uh, both teams' ability to make the other team turn it over. There's a good good strike on goal, a little bit number high. Number nine they, for Detroit, Abu El Both teams have, have pressed well in the opponent's uh, half of the field and have caused turnovers. So defensively, they've done a good job of, of uh, making the other team turn the ball over. And normally, like I said at the beginning of the game, the teams that have been coming in have been backing off, playing in front of their 18. And Detroit Union has come out and really uh, pressed the Bucks. Now it's not going well for them in the second half, but let's see what happens down this flank. Here comes Cissé down the left. He puts it in with the outside of his foot, but number three, uh, Kevin Zapita for Detroit Union FC. The uh, four-year varsity letterman from Lincoln Park High and Downriver took care of that low cross from Cisse very well. Corner here for the Bucks gives us a chance to say that with all their natural meats and veggies sliced in-house daily, Jimmy John's is freaky fast, freaky good, and best sandwiches since 1983. Cisse on the corner. He's looking to put in a ball in the cross with his right foot. Here it comes. <laughs> Some dangerous uh, action there, but it falls harmlessly to the Detroit Union keeper.
Detroit Union uh, casually playing it out the back here. Not in any rush in the moment. Lee looks up for the long ball. Up to Aldabri. Which will go out for the throw in. Bilal Kulani plays it back to his defense who clears it up but there's another turnover for you Gary and Detroit has a chance to uh, swing it to the far side number 13 is no, he going to win it a, or he's foul deemed there, I would imagine, a foul yeah. <laughs> and I'll try this one again <laughs> With their all-natural meats and veggies sliced in-house daily, the fresh baked bread right here where you can see it. Jimmy John's has made your sandwiches with love since 1983. Jimmy John's freaky fast, which makes it freaky fresh. Bucks back on the ball at midfield under the Atwood Stadium scoreboard on the far side. Tembe finding himself deeper in the field than we've seen him tonight. Those Bucks players can't go for that ball as they were standing in an offside position when it came out from the back. Here come Detroit, but that comes out of bounds once again for another throw in. Uh, substitution again for Detroit Union. Their number 10, Justin Workman checking in. Did you see who came out there? I didn't see a guy come up. Either way, Carlitos Valbuena, one of uh, Flint City Bucks, throws it in, but it lands at the feet of a Detroit defender. A foul there on the edge of the box. Breaks up that uh, passage of play. Number 10 for Detroit looks a little bit shaken up. He just checked in. Uh, Justin, Justin Workman, the 19-year-old uh, from Macomb who spent the summer uh, playing for the Michigan Stars U23 side, hobbling a little bit through the midfield. You have to keep an eye on that. Carlitos Valbuena put under pressure and can just kind of kick it out to the sideline. I've been impressed by uh, their number nine, Abu Al-Gabri. He's a uh, Looked a bit of a menace for the back line, but here comes the Bucks. He's got a here comes wide open Tambe. At the far post too. Two in the box for the Bucks. Oh, that's not a good ball to play there. <laughs> yeah. uh, you want to clip that ball into the far side, and you had Amadou Cici coming in from the weak side of the field. That slotted ball is not going to get. Even if you get on the end of that, it's not going to get you anywhere. You're going to be facing the end line. So really needed to cross that ball to the far side. But a good run down that right side to set that up. Another substitution for your Flint City Bucks as uh, number two, Elliot Bentley, checks into the game. And he replaces number 15, Foster Apaya, who's put in a very solid shift thus far here tonight. Goal kick taken by Detroit. He looks up the field, put under pressure by Farkas. No whistle. No, there it comes. Late whistle there. Had his uh, pocket picked by Farkas, but Detroit Union bailed out by the referee's whistle this time around. Goalie's looking to play it quickly and long. They got number nine up front. He chested down, but only as far as Bilal Kulani, who plays it to his Bucks teammate. Plenty of time in the middle of the field there. Just pinging around in the middle third of the field in the meantime. Cross field ball comes to Keita. He's under pressure. He chips it to the near side. Valbuena has some nice feet there, but plays it back to his defender, Bentley. Back to Valbuena. Another turnover there, but uh, recovered by Bilal Kulani. Looked like a danger, the danger signs went up there for a brief moment. Here's a chipped ball into the midfield. Will anyone get onto it? No, the Detroit Union defender 
kicks it all the way to the advanced physical therapy banner beyond the Atwood Stadium scoreboard. Neither goalie uh, has been tested thus far uh, in the last few minutes. A little bit of a slowdown in action, I get, to a degree. I guess we've been spoiled with action. It really hasn't been that slow. Yeah, and the Bucks, you know, they got a three-goal lead now, so they really don't need to go after uh, Detroit Union too too hard. Detroit Union, it's up to them to put the pressure on the Bucks, and Bucks are just getting goal side and doing a good job defensively, and then countering when they have opportunities. Somewhat wild pass there, taken care of on the near side. Plays a long ball through. Will number 12 get on the end of it? There goes the fast defenders who mm, a push in the are back. knocked down there unceremoniously. That's a frustration to follow right there, I'd have to believe. Down three goals, chasing a ball you're not going to get on the end of. But here comes the Bucks. Cisse plays it nicely into the middle. He's off and running. He's got a little bit of speed and uh, doesn't quite pull off the... That last foul, that last foul is called a payback foul. That's when forwards get a chance to pay back the defenders for kicking them all game long when they're letting the ball run out of bounds and just give them a shove in the back. It's going to be goal kick anyway, so as long as you don't do it too hard and get a yellow card out of the deal, you're in, you're in pretty good shape and no no damage done. Maybe just some groans from the uh, from the stands. Keita gets a nutmeg on, but unable to. Uh, Connect with the ball on the other side of the player. Dorley back in the game. He went around Cisse. And here goes the oh, owner here. of <laughs> the owner of Detroit Union, Kevin, Kevin Tapton, almost got the second goal of the night for his team, but wasn't able to get on that. It looked very dangerous there. That was the most dangerous the Union have looked so far in the second half. And Kevin, good guy. He trained with the Bucks all summer long as well. So he really loves the game, that guy. I think he's a grad of uh, University of Detroit Mercy, I believe, if my memory serves me right. Uh, he played at Brother Rice in high school, played for the Stars in NPSL in 2019. And... Um, I don't have the note on where he went. He played for UDM as well. But very active. I yeah. mean, running a team as well as training uh, yeah, wherever he can, and I believe he, he trains others as well. Really good guy. And a good player as well. We'll uh, take a moment here as we have four substitutions coming before this corner kick. As the Flint City Bucks would like to thank Dr. Mark Knight and Knight Dental for being the official dental partner of the Flint City Bucks. When looking for the best in quality dental care, make your next appointment with Knight Dental Care. That's uh, Jose Aguilar back in the game, and I want to see him get a goal tonight. He, uh, he lived down the street from me growing up, and his, uh, his younger brother was a good friend of my son. Oh, right footed volley. volley. Very spectacular if pulled off, but not quite this time. He was uh, leaning back quite a bit there. Yeah, I just didn't quite get over the ball. Yeah. So I'm pulling for Jose to get a goal tonight. Jose Aguilar, number 25 for the Flint City Bucks here tonight. And a product of Pontiac High School and scored a bucket full of goals for those guys back in the day, which was probably 10 years ago. Everyone, well, I'm glad you put the, the number on there. Everyone's back in the day is a little bit different depending on their circumstance. Uh, Bucks still, you, you were saying they don't really need to push for more, but they look like they want more. There's five in the attacking wow. third at the moment. The young man that did so well in the first half, Ali Corbinale, back in the game. He had some really uh, fun dummies and shimmies and just feints, really. He, was, uh, he showed off that awesome quality about soccer where you can... Uh, Put skill on the ball without ever touching the ball. Bucks stay in possession here. Come to the near side. Here's Valbuena dancing around his defender spectacularly. Gotta Here's Ali. The ball in the middle of that midfield. 
At least holding on to that ball just a little bit too long. 21 of the 22 players on the field in the attacking uh, half once again. A rare thing seen, but uh, we've seen it a couple times tonight. And that must be a trip on the far side. No whistle. Here come Detroit. Here comes number nine with a left-footed shot. But Jake Nooner yeah, not thankfully a, takes that into his hands. Not a problem there. That was a pretty steep angle to be shooting from, and he didn't have any players coming through the box. So Al Gabri definitely uh, pressed the uh, Bucks back line into work there, but they were did well enough to, to narrow his angle there. Not too many options. You'd have to come up with something pretty special to score from that angle. And here comes the Bucks again. High diagonal ball up to Tembe. He's got runner in the middle, but he's going to slow down just a moment, hesitate, let more runners come into the play. Here comes a cross top of the box. Aryong Ali almost got on the end of that, but Detroit stuck a strong defensive foot in the way of that cross field pass. Bucks definitely in control more in this second half. It was a pretty open game for a large portion of that first half, but... Uh, over time, Bucks are starting to show their dominance, as the uh, the scoreboard would indicate. Oh, nice! Oh, he almost got him in on that pass. Yeah, I yeah, think that was a that was a goal-saving uh, interception by Elliot Bentley. They're just sticking out his foot and breaking that pass up because that was that was going to be in behind the defense and getting a breakaway. Yeah, he got that go-go gadget toe there to to get his toe extra long to kick that through ball away from uh, the oncoming Detroit striker. Here's Tepchum. Cycling the ball back. Detroit definitely not hanging their head. They want to score another goal, you can tell. They've got some, some jump in their step still. Still Lincoln some passes. Nice combination down this right-hand side. See what Dorley can do now, top of the 18. He gets it through to number 10, who's brought down with uh, no a, whistle, play on says tackle. the ref. And here comes a four on three for the Bucks. Tembe goes around number 14 at midfield. And they slow it down and let some of their teammates catch up. But that was an impressive uh, run. Half the, the Bucks pouring forward for uh, a fast break opportunity. Keita calmly passes it out wide. Is that Bentley on the far side? No. I can't quite read the number under the scoreboard over there. Bet. Oh, on number 23 is. Yeah, running with the ball in the middle of midfield and gets tackled. That's how you create turnovers right there. Played down the line. Detroit looking to serve the middle. He's got two runners. Oh, and it goes all the way through. Might still be a shot. Number 18. Yeah, nice block. Blocked. Number three. Nice job that time. Carlitos Valbuena with the all important block. Valbuena played 16 games for Schoolcraft back in the day, as well as uh, some time with AFC Ann Arbor. Definitely uh, put in a strong foot to uh, block that opportunity. Nooner doesn't quite get it to uh, his attackers, and the ball. Won't go out of bounds because the referee, the linesman, has indicated offsides. For over 35 years, Ortho Michigan has been Michigan's premier orthopedic group using advanced cutting edge technology to deliver superior care to their patients. Ortho Care Michigan, or Ortho Michigan, is the official medical provider for the Flint City Bucks. Back to Nooner. It's Bentley. It's a Valbuena. He's looking up. He wants to spray it to an attacker. That's nice through ball. Goalie's out and deals with it. Coppola does well to take care of business. Ball back in play here. 83rd minute. 
ball goes out of play for a uh, a box throw in it would appear I feel like there's at least one more goal in it for us tonight Gary uh, you won't. I'll take you up on that I think it's going to end 4-1 oh, okay so, so there we go we the, bet, the bets on what is it, what's the new betting service is called uh, <laughs> what's I haven't a clue what's but uh, I was going to ask you with uh, just a few minutes left of uh, action in the 2021 Buck season. Uh, do you have any thoughts you want to share on uh, the season that was here at Atwood Stadium? Well, certainly this summer was a great summer. Uh, Bucks made it to the playoffs, uh, won the first playoff game against Chicago United and got beat in a tight game against uh, Des Moines Menace, who went on to win the national championship. So the Bucks were right there. They had their opportunity. Uh, lost a tough game to Des Moines, but uh, Des Moines was deserving in that one and the rest of the way in the playoffs. So it's been a fun summer and a nice uh, fall exhibition season as well. United Way Genesee County fights for the health, education, financial stability, and basic needs for every resident of Genesee and Shiawassee counties. Visit unitedwaygenesee.org to donate or find volunteer opportunities. Bucks looking for more here. They got runners streaming forward through the mill. Not taken. Sprayed wide. Here's Valbuena. Will he get in the cross? Passes to the top of the box. Dangerous ball. It spills to a Bucks there player. He right footer. Oh, there was the opportunity right there. And I shouldn't be betting against the Bucks to score that next goal because I want Jose to get one. So he had a nice layoff that time. Uh, I think that was over to Ali, and Ali just shot it wide. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but the Bucks starting to really Actually, rack up that corner was numbers. To Dehani who missed that one. Right into the arms of the Detroit goalkeeper there, and he takes it quick. Looping ball up to midfield, spins across the top of the head of the Bulldog, and it's sprayed to the far side on the left wing. It's three versus four in the box. They got a couple guys open at the far side, and there it is. Oh, it was offsides, I guess. I didn't see that. It looked exciting for a moment, yeah, but I Detroit talk. ruled offside there, stopping that attack in its tracks. Bucks back in action. Loose ball saved at the far side under the scoreboard. Number 25. Your guy, Jose Aguilar, keeps on making that run through the yeah, middle. Yeah, they haven't found him in the middle making those runs yet, have they? And he's been looking to get in behind that defense. He got a couple of nice runs from him. Now he gets the ball at feet. And he's brought down. That doesn't get the call, though. No call as Detroit tries to break out of the defensive third. Uh, Dorley, again, pretty strong on the ball. He did get caught out in the first half, but has had a pretty strong game. It's looking tough for uh, Detroit right now, but I'm sure uh, they'll be just fine in their UPSL season after their trip up to uh, Flint here today. Here comes Dorley. Dorley with the ball, but again, good job defensively by the Bucks, And even got a goal, out of that, goal kick out of that. Goal kick for the Bucks. And I'll tell you what, I'll make another bet at the end of this game that there won't be more than one minute of extra time for this game. You're predicting a, I think a the quick referee whistle. referee is going to just close this thing up right after the 90th minute. Uh, thank you to Regional Medical Imaging for being the official imaging company of the Bucks, proudly serving Genesee County and beyond with several local locations. Here come the Bucks in the 88th minute. Valbuena gets knocked over by Elton Jura, who has uh, definitely uh, left his mark on a couple bucks tonight. Ball goes to the far side. Maybe Aguilar will get on the end of this. He's in the middle of the box once again. Pretty slow pace walking into the Detroit box. Bucks fans calling for one more here in the dying moments of the 2021 calendar. Plenty of Vuvuzela action here tonight too. 
And uh, the game looking like it's running out of steam a little bit. <laughs> they were, they literally walked it in to the box there. Yeah, this game has uh, had its moments, uh, but uh, that's offsides there. But I think it's about over. And I just uh, thought of an interesting fact. Well, I didn't think of it, actually. Somebody texted it to me. But the four goals scored by the Bucks tonight were all from the players that played in the uh, 2019 championship uh, team. So that's a fitting end to the exhibition season as well. I believe uh, Ayuk Tambe got one. Yuri Farkas got one. Did Amadou Sisi get one? And Acharandio, I can't remember. Who yep. got that. All those guys played on our team in uh, 2019. I think I got that right, but I could be wrong. Yes, if you're joining this game late, Detroit Union FC, the UPSL side, opened the scoring in the uh, 10th minute. But... Uh, since has been overrun by the Bucks scoring four goals in a row. Unfortunate. Hopefully, uh, number 13 for uh, Detroit Union is not hurt. It would be a shame to uh, pick up an injury here right at the end of the, the last minute of an exhibition game. Well, I'll tell you what. I was impressed with Detroit Union, especially in that first half. They got Bucks everything they could, they could uh, handle, and it was an even game at halftime. And Bucks made a couple of adjustments in the second half, and it did them well. And I think going a four in the back really helped uh, settle things down for the Bucks. Yeah, it was pretty much Wild West in the first half, but we're not done yet. If uh, Acharandio can get on the end, he does. Looking to put the ball into the middle, he cuts inside. Defender goes down, no contact. The young Ali oh, hits the crossbar. He just put it off the corner of the crossbar on the goalpost. Young Ali Korobanali, or Kurbanali, almost sealed uh, his impressive performance yeah, off had, with a about, goal. Had about and two seconds of extra time. You <laughs> called it, Gary, two seconds of extra time. The final whistle blown by the center referee. And that does it for action on the field for the Flint City Bucks in 2021. Like I said, Detroit Union FC opened the scoring in the 10th minute, but then was uh, answered by goals in the 22nd, 48th, 58th, and 64th by the Flint City Bucks, led to a final four to one. So for everyone here at Atwood Stadium, the production crew of Point Images, the Flint City Bucks. You've been watching a Point Images production here on Mid Michigan CW46 and the Flint City Bucks YouTube. My name's Robert Kerr. I was alongside Gary Parsons tonight. And until next time, enjoy your soccer and take care.